the formidable robot. You may have heard of the story of Suicide Mouse, a disturbing 9 minute and 4 second long lost episode of the 1920s 1930s version of Mickey Mouse. The last 30 seconds are very unknown, but what is known is that there is Russian text on the last frame and the final half minute has caused a death. Well, it has been found that on 834, it cuts from the Mickey Mouse end screen to Mickey, who has no eyes and his smile is curved, frantically running in this warped void. Yes, between 7 to 8 for, the floating rubble the buildings have become turned into said void and the sidewalk moving in impossible directions seemingly merges with it, though very unnoticeable, because of how distorted the video has become. Mickey seems to be going faster throughout the duration. Back to the final moments, there seems to be a gun floating and when the mouse approaches it, he stops running. He slowly but surely picks it up, turns towards the screen and puts the gun to his head, throughout the duration of him saying, real suffering is not known, seven times, each time getting gradually louder. At around 8.54, the screen turns white, and a gunshot sound happens, this is pretty much what the guard did when he saw the ending. On 8.55, you can see that the buildings and the sidewalk are back to normal, but the mouse is lying down, only his shoes being visible. On 8.58, you can see a very gory close-up image of the mouse lying dead, his eyes being there, but there is blood on the floor and a gaping hole on the area of his head that he shot. On 9.1, it suddenly cuts to a close-up of... Magrello Mouse? It's occupied with a loud demonic screeching noise played for around half a second before it cutting to the Russian text for the remaining seconds. It's also worth pointing out that on the very first frame of the video, on the very left, you can see a syringe lying on the floor, and on 432, where the video is mostly nothing, Magrello appears for a split second before disappearing, this time with no screeching. There are also random weird noises throughout 132.6, probably of doors closing opening or items being picked up. Overall, Suicide Mouse probably wasn't even made by Disney in the late 1920s early 1930s. It's almost like some Russian bootleg that probably got exported to the US at the time the original story was written. We may just never know, 